the reaction is mixed. Uh, it's something that should have been done a long time ago. The community's been after this issue for about 40 years on Indian foreign interference in this country. Uh, we've seen year over year, you know, Canada inching towards this type of declaration. It's very unfortunate that it took uh, the death of Hadeep Singh Nijjar on this property a few hundred feet away uh, to actually bring this about. Like we heard in June from Jody Thomas that India is a foreign actor. Uh, we've heard from foreign interference reports in the past and past years that India is, along with China and other nations, interfering in Canada's affairs. So we're, we have a mixed kind of emotion right now. Uh, that's kind of, uh, one is we're acknowledging that Canada has acknowledged India as an actor and done it from Parliament. Uh, and on the other side, we're wondering what the next steps are going to be as well. So I think there's mixed feelings at the moment. How confident Sorry, are you? Sorry, can we have you looking could... up? Because you're just looking down at the ground. Sorry, if you just look at these guys. Look at the cameras out there. Are what? you confident in the justice system and the international uh, way of, of reaching justice? I think at, at the moment, uh, we have no idea. Like, as in, like, uh, the justice system itself has been kind of, I think, failed in these moments in the past where trade uh, deals and diplomacy and all these types of things come into play. So human rights, if it's actually at the forefront of our agenda, then I would say like the justice system should do its work, its job, find the people that actually did this. Uh, if Canada is actually declaring that India is an actual actor in this, I think that's a first step towards acknowledging and a first step towards justice. Uh, but until we actually see people behind bars, until we see actually people that were you know, supplying uh, you know, money for this hit, carrying this out, uh, I think it's kind of like skepticism right now that as in something's actually going to happen. And that just comes from a long, I think, list of things that have happened in the past where we don't really see that justice, whether it's in India or whether it's here. Are you surprised that the Prime Minister came out and said this today? Uh, I think uh, a little bit of surprise. Um, it also goes to the, the efforts of the Sikh community over the last uh, several months in bringing this issue up and raising it and ensuring that it doesn't die out. Um, I think continuously kind of raising the fact that India has actually got a hand in this. Um, so there was some level of surprise, but at the same time, um, I think it had to be acknowledged. I think we're at a point now where with Jody Thomas and others in the intelligence uh, service are actually saying that this is a real thing. Um, the fact that Canada is, is now acknowledging it, I think, is, is the right step. And acknowledgement will then move on to actually like action and implementation of something. Uh, and we're very interested to know what that might be. Can you tell us about um, the importance and, and how well respected and liked Hardeep was in the community? I think the, the wave of uh, support that we saw post his death is it, just a small indication of how big of a stature Hardeep Singh had in the entire Sikh community internationally. Um, this thing, it shook the community across the entire world, including in Punjab. Uh, before us growing up, we always heard stories um, that as in like this would happen to you if you were in Punjab, that if you spoke out against the government that you could be tortured and killed. Uh, and we grew up with those stories uh, our whole life and then watching it transpire right before us that somebody that was so eloquent, so like as in kind, uh, so respected within the community internationally was gunned down uh, on a Gurdwara, at a place of worship, at where we actually gather for all of our social and political and faith-based needs. Um, it was just a deep scarring moment, I think, for the Sikh community in Canada, uh, and also for the generation of activists that's still coming, that the reality of what we're speaking out about uh, may lead to our death even in this country, which I don't think was a, a thought that even crossed our minds in the past. Does this move by Canada make activists in your community more or less scared? I think there's people that are in the activist community that they understand that this is the, this is the result of their activism at some point. So I think that the fear is there that as in something could happen, I think that's in the activism in and of itself, that you know, they could be, you know, their careers could be at risk, uh, their families could be at risk, they themselves, their lives could be at risk. So I think a lot of them come into it with this. Uh, me standing before you today, I would say it doesn't do anything to say that we're afraid of this at the end, that it's not going to silence us. So I think there's a lot of activists out there that are newer. Uh, the reality of movements, whether it's this one or any other one for that matter, if this is the end they'll meet while they're sitting in Canada, uh, I think there is a sense of fear amongst them. Like as in like that this can actually happen here. Uh, those of us that are a bit more seasoned, that have seen this happen, have watched it right before our eyes unfold, uh, I don't think we're afraid of that end, um, but there's nothing there that actually says that, you know, that's the end we want for ourselves or our activists at the end of the day. 